Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're going to continue in the Nether. So let's get into it. There's a gas round this corner. Ooh, ooh, there he is, there he is. Um, do you suppose we could maybe? Okay, let's just, just, just be careful. Make ourselves a little pile so that we can um, manoeuvre our way around. Um, okay, I want to kind of, okay, I want to, ooh. What the hell are those things? Oh, were those things? Huh. Not there now. Uh, okay, I'm going to put down some, some blockage so that I don't um, fall to a horrible, fiery death. Why do they make that noise? They sound like, I don't know, weird noises. Okay. Hello. Hello. Ooh, there are some shrooms. Some shroomage. There's also some lava. Let's just put that there. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, lots of magma cream. Quite nice. There, uh, okay. Let's... Yep. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Ooh, spooky. Spooky faces. All right. Take the shrooms, why not? I don't know what we can actually do with the shrooms. Can we eat them? I think we've we've answered this question before, but I can't remember what the answer was. Get out. Hmm. Um Yeah, red mushroom, what can we do with that? Can we eat it? Nope. Can't eat it. Okay. Um Some stone. We should have kept the um, the. Okay, shouldn't have done that. We should have kept the cobblestone. Yes. I feel like this trail of magma cream is a trap. Do you know what I mean? It's like in you know in films and stuff where they always try and lead the people away from the safe place into hell. And yet here I am, willingly walking my way through it. Good God. All right. Give me that. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. That could have been tragic, couldn't it? Put a basalt there. Okay. That could have been severely tragic. Good Lord. Okay. Nura. That was a little close. Um, what is going on here? Um, yeah. Are those like slime things? Do they just just randomly do themselves in? That seems a little <laughs> dodge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. We're all right. We're all right. Um. Should I? Should I? Looks like... Oh, okay. Um. Um. Oh, God. I'm torn. Ugh. Okay, let's just, just, just be careful about this. Can I? Yep. I can hear the ghast, but I can't see it. Where are you, ghast? You, you, you filthy animal. Yep. Hello. <sighs> okay. Let's not be so stupid. 
There's loads of these slime things. What's going on? I think these, these slime things just have a death wish here because they just seem to keep dying and it's, yeah. I really am, I'm pushing it now, aren't I? I'm pushing my luck. I thought it was a torch over there then, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have one peep up here and then we need to I think we need to leave because we are really pushing this right now. Um, okay. Wah, wah. Yes, oh my god. Right. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm just going to figure my way back now, which I think should be fairly straightforward. I think I remember the way. So nosy. I'm so nosy and it's to my own detriment. Yeah, let's just 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 no wonder no wonder cut your losses. <laughs> or cut your gains. I don't know, we've got we've had some gains. Get this slime before we leave. I don't know where that ghast has gone and that is a concern for me. Okay. What's going on with these things? I'm gonna get that as well. Okay. There we go. Waha. Damn. Damn. Okay. We're alright. We're alright. We're safe. We're okay. Oh! that bloody safe Jesus okay how did I I came this way didn't I, I think yes this looks very me oh <gasps> right right I nearly did it then I nearly did it you all know you all saw I nearly bloody well did it sound of the portal so comforting which is weird to say all right it's rock and roll the crew i'm gonna um mosey on back where's my there it is okay we're in Well, do you know what? Never mind. I don't even care. I'm just, yep, yep. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oof. Hello, piggy. Yeah, that bloody ghast. Alright, well. we come up this way? I think we... no. Over there. That's where we can, must have come up. Ah! Oh, I made it. I made it. I went the wrong way. Bloody hell, that took me ages. Okay. Here we go. Go back into the real world. Is it... oh, okay. Is it night time here? I suppose. I mean, okay, I don't want to... yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's full-blown night time. God bless it, Barbie. Well, that's fine. We can just run up to our bed and get some sleep. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Get up, get up, Eve. Get up. Run, run, run. We don't want to get nabbed. Ah, morning has broken at last. Yes, well, uh, when I came back up, a creeper was here and he blew a hole in the whole gaff. Like an Egypt. So I'm going to have to fix this now. You fool, sir. Good God. Um, well, I've got basalt. Shut that in. There you go. Now up for. Okay. Let's just. Yes. I'll leave. I'll leave them pickaxes here because we will come back. But I'm going to head back up to the village. We need to get some more food on the go. I think we should maybe do some fishing to get some fish. Because fish seem to be quite abundant. We'll get this, this rotten flesh. I don't actually know how much rotten flesh I've got now. I'll have to um, go and do a count. <sighs> but what an adventure that was. Into the nether, baby. Woo. That's freaky nether, though. Nethers were just weird. It's a weird place. Should we maybe go and fish at the sea? I wonder where those other... Like the places those nether portals came out. I wonder where they are in relation to here. Would they be of a great distance, do you suppose? Or would they be fairly close? I don't know. I feel... Let's have some food. Yeah, we definitely need to get some more food on the go, which is fine. I can do that. Let's just take a peep. Just a peep. Is it just more ocean? Or sea or whatever. I don't know. Looks like it. Huh. Kind of disappointing, but never mind. You know me, I always like to find things. Because, oh, Enderman, when you find things, it's interesting. Find little treats along the way. Maybe we get some fish and, um, yeah. Sort ourselves out. Oh, Enderman, I didn't look. I promise I didn't look, mate. Don't mind me. Okay. Let's fish. Look at all the fish. Look at all the fish. Look at all the fish. Ooh, got another fishing rod. Fishing rod. Unbreaking three. Curse of vanishing? That sounds interesting. A curse of vanishing, eh? If we throw this directly... Directly at the fish, will they nibble? Ah, uh, apparently not. That's a little weird. Sorry if you can hear the train in the background. Ah, okay. Brilliant. Well, we'll head back up to the village. We need to do some food gathering and um, sort out our lives. So, I shall uh, wander on over to there. And we're home again, home again. Okay, I don't want to catch the door. Can we? Thank you. Oh, right, what I am going to do is... Well, I need some coal because we're going to smelt this gold, baby. Do you smelt gold nuggets? Oh, look at all this. I've got loads of them. Wow. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, coal, lovely. Put them all in the blast furnace. I think we can put them in the blast furnace. Uh, oh, there is coal in here. Coal for a cooker. What? Okay, so we we can't we can't put gold nuggets in here. There you go. Turn that out. Um, do we have to maybe do this? Do you have to make it into like a ball? Bl uh, yes, you do. Well, that's mildly disappointing, isn't it? But do you know what? We've still got loads of it. I mean, bloody hell. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Put that there. Ta. Ooh, lots of gold now. We are doing well, folks. Bam, 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 bam. Don't think, no, we've not got enough. Blast it. But, thank you. Right, so we've got loads of gold. I could do with some more iron, which is fine. Ooh, what's that? The puffer fish. Do you know what that always reminds me of whenever I see puffer fish? Always reminds me of um, Call Me Kevin, Jim Pickens, because he always chose to murder people with bad puffer fish. <laughs> We're getting plenty of flesh, bones. 
Arrows all see that that's interesting. Can we repair that? I suppose. I don't know how you'd repair it. Maybe maybe I don't know. Fish will cook up the fish. Um Right, I need to get some more baked potatoes on the go and then um probably do a little bit more iron mining, I think. Hello, sir. Hmm. Where are the potatoes? I think. We could do with a hoe, actually. Before we go anywhere, let's get a hoe on the go. Because then we can hoe up the land and replant stuff if I mess it up. Can I? Yes, thank you. I believe we've got wheat seeds as well. Uh, yes, we do. So we'll plant those. I'm going to make a hoe. Don't know why I just did that. That was rather foolish. Um, we'll make an iron hoe. You'd hoe. You'd hoe. Is it okay? Maybe. Is it like that? And then there, there, and there. Oh, that's what I want to make—an iron hoe. There you go. That was all I wanted. <laughs> Do you know? I bet more of you out there have forgotten more than I have learned when it comes to um, Minecraft, because. My brain is often like a Swiss cheese and just forgets things. Okay. Um, let's get some wheat. Let's get our hoe ready, actually. Get the hoe. Oh, I brought the bloody iron with me. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's fine. Plant, plant. Yes. I wonder, do the villagers, like, will they farm like we do? Will they, like, re-till the land and stuff? No. Apparently they won't, by the looks of it. Good grief! All right. Bloody hell. There we are. And this one. Uh, yep. And... Yep. Marvellous. But I want some potatoes. Oh, what's that? That's a sheep. Just saw a white thing, and I was like, what on earth is that? But it's a sheep. Oh. I must stop doing that. All right. Well, let me just mosey on over this way. Wonderful. So we're out of the way. We're out of the way. We've been there. Now, I think the other beacon is going to be at this weird... What would you call it? The... Um... Can I just... No, can't get out that way. God bless it. This way. Yeah, I think the other beacon is potentially at that other skull thing, which is over there somewhere, I believe. But then there's like a, a skull thing on top of here, like a bone. Should we go and check that out before we finish for the day? Just to see what it is. Oh, God. If I can actually get up there. I imagine I should be able to. Where there is a will, there is a way in good old Minecraft. And I have... Well, I have the will. I don't always have the way because, you know, reasons. But there you go. Um, okay. Up we go. Up we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, we could have just swam up the water. Well, bloody hell. Let's do that. Up we go, up we go. Straight to the top, please. I wish to see what lies up here. Oh, okay. Oh, can I? Yep. Yeah. Huh. What is this? Ooh. Night is falling, so I do need to be very careful. I don't know whether mobs could spawn up here. Is this like a... Whoa. Like a skull thing? It's kind of cool. Oh. Well, I heard a villager, so that's fine. What's in here? Oh, got some good old bread. Trouble at the serpent's skull. And what else? The crying isle. All right. Uh, all villagers be advised, Borgs are spotted at the serpent's skull. This, they seem to be protecting some kind of ancient beacon. Avoid leaving the mountain. Bure. All right. What about this one? 
The island of Titania was discovered by Sidious Greymane in or around 1200 AD. Sidious, along with his two sons, landed on this island with a small band of mercenaries, only to find the island in a lot of turmoil. Whoa, there's 11 pages? The island was plagued by two colossal titans fighting each other for food and power, and a small tribe of hunters suffered in the war. The tribe greeted Sidious with open arms. Knowing that a mere man like him cannot fight the colossal beasts, Sidious learned the tribal way to survive the onslaught and exist alongside, alongside the mighty beasts, I think that's meant to say. Sidious, along with his people, settled in the small underground cave. Soon Sidious discovered that the island is filled with precious minerals, but with the ongoing Titan War, it's nearly impossible to set up a mining operation. But the reward was too high for Sidious to ignore. Sidious set up a small mine and started the mining operation. However, due to the tremors caused by the mining equipments, a third titan, previously unknown, woke up and started raising hell upon Sidious and his people. When the massacre stopped, Sidious woke up in a small tribal house. He was informed that every one of his people got wiped out, including his two sons. Filled with grief and sadness, Sidious made a vow to slay every titan that roams the island. With the blood and metal of his fallen people, the mighty blade, the bane of darkness, was forged by the most skilled blacksmiths of the tribe. With the mighty power of the bane and immense courage, the small human, Sidious, was able to wipe out the lime serpent, skull residing on a small hill, the colossal mantis, skull residing on top of a mountain. However, when Sidious and the tribe marched towards the titan who killed his people, his legs trembled. However, Sidious, motivated to drive away the evil from the island, fought the one-eyed demon bravely. As he landed the final blow from the Bane of Darkness, the power of the blade was so immense that it created a turmoil in space and time and opened rifts all over the island. Rift. Basically a portal of some unknown dimension. Current year 15 AD, the rifts started pouring out evil and darkness. The Heart of Darkness, residing in the abandoned mine, was the epicentre of darkness. The origin of the evil remain remains unknown. However, they seem to follow a leader, identity unknown. The current location of the Bane of Darkness remains a mystery. Okay. Alright. The wind speaks. Does it? How? Damn! What a view, though. Wow. So we've already done that beacon. So, assumedly, the other beacons, like I say, are over that way somewhere. But we'll go and um, we'll go and have a look at those at some point. Ouch! But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourself.